here in India, you know how inaccessible the environment is. It's so difficult to catch the buses, to go around on the roads, or even to go to a restaurant. There are a lot of barriers in the external and the internal environment. For example, if somebody in the wheelchair wants to go out and access a pavement or a footpath, the footpaths do not have curb ramps. They are bollards and the spacing is not adequate. The illumination is not good and the surface is so rough and uneven that one cannot maneuver the wheelchair on their own. Also, there are issues for climbing up the buses. Most of the buses do not have ramp. Even if we design good bus stops and bus shelters and the ramp is not opened regularly, the chassis of the bus is higher and the people on the wheelchairs who are boarding from the roads will not be able to do it. Most of the shops where we want to go for shopping, eating or just buying a book, these shops do not have ramps. If there are steps, the steps are too high and there are no handles. So how do you assume that people with disability can access such areas? We are more dependent and it's just an obligation when we are always asking people to do things for us. The whole worry is how the 15% population of India which is disabled can be mainstream by providing an accessible and inclusive environment. Now, Samarthan is working with the government, the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment to make India accessible through the Accessible India campaign. The campaign looks at all the capital cities in the states and do 100 buildings per state fully accessible. Also, we are developing a portal and an app from where you can just click a photograph from your smartphone and upload that photograph so that the people and the ministry would come to know what are the issues, where the barriers are and the concerned authorities and stakeholders can make their places accessible. The Accessible India campaign a tagline is Sugamya Bharat Sashakt Bharat that means Accessible India, Empowered India.